Two things I want to mention really quick before the video starts. Thing number one, you can find links to all the Acuity products that I mentioned in this video in the description down below and in the pinned comment down below. I do earn a small commission on each purchase made when you click my link. So if you're thinking about picking up any Acuity products, please consider using the links in my description and pinned comment down below to support my small business. Thing number two, I know that I said we're going to be taking a break from the EG content for a while, but the process of fixing my car after crashing it is actually going really fast, so we might come back to it in the very next video. Stay tuned for that. With that said, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is my friend Just Pasha. Today we're going to be giving you guys a three month review of the Acuity three-way adjustable short shifter for the 8th gen Honda Civic Si. I currently have mine out of the car, not because I didn't like it, but because I just uninstalled it from the car to put the stock one back in because Pasha is going to be driving the car stock and then we're going to throw the Acuity three-way adjustable short shifter into the car and then Pasha's going to drive it again and react to it. When was the last time you drove this car? Probably when you just bought it. Right. So like, what is it, four or five months ago? No, way, way before. Yeah, a long time. It's been a, it's been a long time. Half a year ago at least. Yeah. When you drove it, it still had like the shifter extension yep. on the stock shifter, right? Yeah. Okay, yep. so the shifter setup was really rough. It didn't have the shifter base bushings, it didn't have the shifter cable bushings from Acuity, it had no like shifter mods whatsoever, and it was all very worn out. So we've reinstalled that same stock shifter setup into this car. We still have the Acuity cable shifter bushings on the transmission side. So we're really just changing this one variable and testing it out. I have my own personal thoughts and opinions about the shifter, which I'm gonna share with you guys at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But Pasha, as someone who's never experienced a shifter before, is going to give you his initial impressions after the shifter has been used in the car, daily driven for just about three months. Any like thoughts or predictions or um, ideas going into it? You, you gonna teach me how to drive stick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We gotta, okay. do, we gotta yeah. do that first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm excited to, you know, experience the stock shifter and uh, then experience this because it looks sick, and I just want to see what it's like. So, yeah, I'm more excited for this one, but. Let's see the difference. Cool, let's do it. All right, dude, hop in the stallion. Oh boy. A lot. Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm short, dude. Can you see? You can lower the steering wheel. <laughs> can you see? What, are you calling me short? <laughs> dude. I can't see. <laughs> yeah. right. Do you need a pillow to sit on? I can see, like, All right. I'm not that short. Yeah, are you gonna hit a curb or something? It, probably. Stock feeling, uh, smooth, you know, a good amount of travel. If I was uh, daily driving it, I would I would love this. Honestly, for a stock shifter, the 8th Gen Honda Civic Si is already like very good. So in my opinion, from what I've found in the past, is that it's hard to improve on the stock shifter. It's already pretty, I think it's already pretty dope. Oh my God, it's so slow. <laughs> All right, so overall, stock shifter, still pretty good. Yeah, no, cool. definitely good. Sweet. All right, let's head back to the garage, throw the Acuity shifter back in, and take it out for a test. Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited to feel what it's like. I want to touch, the, he would not let me touch the shifter. Literally, he wouldn't let me touch the knob. Yep. And I want to touch it. I want to yep. touch the knob. Don't touch it. Don't touch. I have mine set up right now where the shifter, the shifter rod is all the way extended. The knob is barely screwed on and locked in place with the lock nut so that we get the maximum height out of it. And then I shortened up the throw. It's quite a bit shortened. And what that results in is a really tall knob with a slightly shorter throw than stock, which is pretty awesome. We'll see how awesome it is in about a minute. Well, yeah, true. We're gonna get Pasha's reaction. I can't, I keep spoiling my own thoughts about it. Something to note is that the Acuity shifter does not use like the stock rubber shifter bushings. It's just directly hard mounted to this like shifter frame. You either like it or you don't. It's like a lot more stiff, a lot more rigid, which you either like it or you don't. We're gonna see what Pasha thinks in just a moment here. This three-way adjustable shifter allows you to adjust how short your throw is, how close your gate spacing is, and how high your shift knob sits. Dude, it has a little plant on it. Jim? Huh? Talking shit about Jim? His name is Jim? 
I'm not talking shit. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I'll right. come back and I'll let you know how it went. Oh yeah? Yeah yeah. yeah. Alright, have fun. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I'm kinda nervous. For what? I don't know. Honest opinions here. Honest don't, opinions. Don't don't BS it. Yeah. Alright, cool. And I touch it? I can touch it. Yeah, you it. can touch it now. <laughs> it feels nice. Wow. Smooth. Uh-huh. Oh dude. Don't make it weird. <laughs> I'm the one who's making it weird. No, it's You're it's, making it weird. It's great. Hold on, bye. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that's reverse. Yeah. That's five. That's six. Yeah. Reverse is a little further. Okay. Yeah. It still has the treble, but like I like how notchy it is. It's so much more notchy. It's not like as soft. It's like I don't know. Right, let's go. That's exactly how I would describe it at like when you're when when it clicks into the gear and yeah. you like hit the wall, those stock rubber bushings are why it felt soft. Yeah, they, it's they like, have a little bit it of has some give. This is like yeah. hard in. Pasha said that the throw is still kind of long. What I want to clarify is that I have the throw pretty long because I have the shift knob at its maximum height. If you want to see just how short this shifter throw can get, which it is very short, check out the video in the card above after this video or links in the description down below is the install of the shifter where I test out the shortest possible throw and how I have it set up now. Okay. Oh, dude, yes. No, 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 no. That, that's definitely different. See, thing is, I'm comparing it with my car as well. Mm. And my car, it's stock. It has a lot of travel. It's comfortable, right? It's great daily. Pasha has an Audi S4, by the way. What year? 2012? 2013? 13. 13, 13 S4. Yeah. Thing is, every time I'm like cruising and I just want to slow down, I'll throw it in neutral and I like do a little tap and it actually moves a lot, you know? This one like doesn't move. You have to like give it a little bit. But I like how tight it feels, you know? And it's notchy, as I mentioned earlier. No, dude, it's... It feels good. It feels race car. I don't, I don't know. It's like a new thing. It's a feeling of a new thing. It's like super smooth. Uh, I like touching it. You know, sometimes you get shifters and they're not. All right, hey. It's just smooth and cool. Like me. The car also makes car noises. Yeah. Overall, you like it? I like it. Would I do it to my car? Yes. Oh, hell to yeah. To a daily? Yes. Nice. Like, it, it doesn't bother me. I do like this the feeling of smoothness on like a stock shifter. I like the travel, but it looks cool. Come on, race car. It doesn't matter. It does look and it, cool. And it feels cool. Like, again, it's I, I keep repeating myself. I don't know what else to say. I, you know, I don't know how to video, YouTube, talk, whatever, but <laughs> um, it's notchy. It's not as much travel, which lets you shift quicker, essentially. And it's great. Woo! And I like this little penis. Whoa. Whoa. Quit talking shit about <laughs> Jim, dude. Jim? Is that his name? But overall, dude, it's great. I mean, you can put in gear quicker. It's notchy, it feels like responsive, it's great, I love it. And the, the shift knob, I like the shift knob a lot. Hell yeah. All right, let's head back to the garage and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the three month review of the shifter. After three months of driving with the Acuity three-way adjustable short shifter in the car, my honest opinion on the shifter is that I really, really like it. It is extremely high quality, it's very well built. It looks freaking sick, as Pasha mentioned in the video. And in combination with the insulated ESCO shift knob from Acuity, it is really a joy to daily drive. I'm so glad that Acuity reached out to me about this product and I love I love just ripping around in this little two liter VTEC. It's so fun. Again, links down below to all the Acuity products mentioned in this video. I'll also leave them in the pinned comment down below. You can't miss them. If you're interested in the shifter, you're thinking about picking one up, 
I can promise you, you won't regret it. If you already have any experience with Acuity products or any of the Acuity products that I mentioned in this video, please leave your experience in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. I'm curious. With that said, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, hopefully back to some EG content, and then we're gonna transition back into HGen content. We're gonna jump around a little bit here, but I'm very close to having the EG fixed up and back out on the road, so I'm trying to get that out as soon as humanly possible. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. We deserve nothing, earn everything.